Continuing on with Python Folium, today we'll be adding marker symbols from the entire data set. Let's get to it. To kick off this tutorial, we'll write out what we plan to do. Step one, iterate through the initial data frame using the latitude and longitude columns from our original data set. We'll use the Python zip function to do this. Since we've previously used it, we'll copy and paste our prior code, make some adjustments, and run the cell. First, we'll change our map variable to M3 so that we have a new map to work with. Then we'll change our data frame underscore last five to just data frame so that we're referencing the original data frame instead of the data frame with only five points. To check the first five rows of our new data frame, we'll use data frame.head. Then we'll use data frame.info to check how many points we have, which is around eight million. We'll check to make sure our latitude and longitude are referenced correctly, and then we'll run the cell. Ooh, looks like we ran into our first error. Let's check it out. Location values cannot contain nons. So let's check our original data frame dot head, and we'll see that the latitude and longitude have a non, which indicates an empty value. We can resolve that by using the pandas drop na function. So we'll Google that real quick and check our parameters. The parameters that are going to be important to us are the axis, how, and subset parameters. So let's go ahead and add those. Data frame dot drop an A, parentheses axis equals zero, close parentheses. And then we'll make a note to use the subset parameter to only use our lat long as the filter for dropping null values. So how equals any and subset equals a list of latitude and longitude. We'll redefine our data frame by making the data frame equal to the result. Use data frame.head to make sure that we have values for the latitude and longitude. Then use data frame.info to check the number of points that we have. It looks like we lost about 100,000 points and that's okay, we'll move on. Copy and paste our code, give it a double check and run it. <laughs> Turns out my computer couldn't handle 8 million points, so we're going to try that again with 100,000 points using list indexing. Data frame.info to check, and then run it again. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Yeah, I had a memory issue here too, so we'll try 10,000. Uh, check that, we're good. And this time around it did work, but... Uh, I was having some pretty significant performance issues with it. So we're gonna go back and redo that with only 1,000 points. And uh, I'll uncomment this, run it, and we'll see that the performance has significantly improved this time around. So that's it for this tutorial. In next week's tutorial, we'll see if we can not only make a better looking map, but also create a better performing map using the Python Folium Marker Cluster plugin. As always, thanks for joining. Hope you had a good time. Like and subscribe, and see you next time.